honey rabbit. Hi everyone, good morning. We're down here at Town Park, taking a walk. It's, uh, this is the day after the computer debacle, the audio issue. So this is the next day. It's still working. But I want to tell you that I learned a couple things from posting that video. First thing I learned is that there's a lot of smart people out there that left a lot of really excellent comments. Now, I've been involved in computer building, troubleshooting, both in my work profession. I was, you know, worked in the printing industry for over two decades in the pre-press digital design and layout, which was all computer-based, and I was responsible for, you know, I managed those departments, and I took it upon myself to keep the repairs and the upgrades in-house, and I did it all. And I gotta say, that's what really got me started on, on doing computer work, also as a hobby. Oh, I gotta pause video. Okay, resuming. So I was involved in, you know, keeping computers at the office up and running, and then I took it on as a hobby. I really enjoyed, uh, and I'm going back into the, this started in the late, mid-late 90s. And then I started, you know, I became the go-to computer guy for family and friends, and um, turned into a real hobby that I really enjoyed. My whole house was computers connected to TVs and networks and, you know, <laughs> a lot of that kind of stuff. And obviously, times change. Um, and today, uh, I'm down to one laptop. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and a lot of you brought up some ideas for fixing that... You know, I know this stuff. I'm just so rusty on having to troubleshoot a PC. Uh, the one, well, more than one, but several of you recommended you go in and just completely uninstall the drivers for the audio device, reboot, Windows sees it as a fresh device and wants to install a new driver for it. I know this stuff, and I had just, I forgot. I was panicking and... Um, I'm just rusty and out of practice. And so I think it was it could one of two things. It was just a software glitch. And by plugging in the HDMI, it snapped it back into shape. Uh, the other issue it could be is that I actually have a hardware issue and that the the sound card, the the real tech sound card portion of the laptop could be having a problem. I, I'm leaning towards it being software. You, the only interface that I use on the laptop is to plug in headphones. And I've only just started using headphones just over this past winter. You know, a couple of you sent me, I have JBL plug-in headphones and I have Bluetooth. And I use the Bluetooth most of the time. But if I'm going to be adding any commentary to the video, then I use the JBL because they have a microphone attached to it. So I haven't been using that audio jack a lot. And that's what happens with the laptops a lot. When you're plugging something in frequently, in and out, in and out, you can, you can break the, the jack that you're plugging into. It's, it's many times it's the power jack. That's why they came up with the magnetic version, so you're not putting force on the plug by pulling it in and out all the time. Um, but again, I only just started using the headphones d just over this past winter, and I don't use the plug-in ones very often at all. And, you know, I know not to reef on the plug when I'm plugging it in or unplugging it, so I... That's why I'm leaning towards it not being hardware related as far as like the jack has a problem, but that it's more more than likely it's software. And Lefty just found this is our one of our grass stops from years past down here at the creek. So we got the rain yesterday and so the creek is running because it had been at a standstill the last few visits we came over here. It's running, not super strong, but it is running. 
So I, I learned from reading the comments so far, you know, reminding me of things I knew, teaching me things I didn't know. Some of you have way more computer experience than I do. You know, I was more at a user level of troubleshooting. I wasn't in the computer industry, but I worked uh, in an industry that used computers every day for everything that it did for a couple of decades. And I kept those machines up and running and software up and running um, always uh, through a combination of experience, throwing some luck, I guess. And, you know, I would see common problems that would happen. And, you know, once you, you fix something once, that same problem, you kind of know how to handle it again. And so I'm, I'm just really thankful for all of the tips and comments that y'all left because, like I said, I know there's a lot of you out there that have a lot more experience in the computer industry and a lot more contact with them than, than me. So thank you for that. And the, the second thing that came out of that video, while I was watching it, uh, and when I mentioned that all of my YouTube world is on that external hard drive, that by hearing myself say that, I said, oh, geez, that's not good. And then, sure enough, one of you picked up on that and left a comment that I saw this morning saying, you better get a duplicate, a backup drive, because if you get a, a glitch on that thing and you lose all that, wh what are you going to lose? And my reply was basically everything. You know, all of the unused video, all of the the graphics, the logos, the sticker, I mean, everything, all of my, everything video or graphic related that has not been posted yet is on that plug-in external drive. And I always treat it very gingerly when I'm moving the laptop, but, uh, you know, things fail. And I've been using that same one terabyte SSD card for four years. I added that, you know, kind of right off the bat so that I could have external storage and not have storage right on the laptop itself. So I am going to get a second drive so that I can mirror what's on that, that use drive, the one I use. Now when videos are done, uh, I periodically take that directory of finished videos and they get, they get moved off onto another external drive I have four terabyte, I'm on my second one, and so all of my finished videos get taken off of the one terabyte and get moved over to the four terabyte. So I filled up the first one, and I'm about three quarters full of the second one, and these are just like 2.5 inch, um, you know, like the mobile ones, they're in a little black case, they are Toshiba's, I've got the same exact model. They're only like, they're not expensive. I think it was $100 um, for four terabytes. And really all I'm using them for is just storage when the videos are done. Because every once in a while, I, I do go back and reference an old video to pull a clip up from it. So I like having the finished videos stored off on those two drives. So the that one terabyte SSD is constantly being turned around. You know, the new... The new videos go in, and when they're done, they get moved off onto the external. So it's been used, it's been used heavily. And, you know, everything has a, a lifespan, I guess. And I could have a catastrophic failure. So from what happened yesterday, I'm going to try and be smart and get a second drive so that I'm not relying on just that one to house every single thing YouTube, you know. I didn't like hearing myself say that in the video, that everything was on that one drive. And for those of you that are encouraging me to back that up, thank you. Because I'm going to go ahead and do that right away. It's a nice day. I've got my jacket on but because it's partly cloudy. But when the sun comes out from behind those clouds, I wish I didn't have my jacket on. <laughs> but then when it dips behind, I need the jacket. So it's one of those in between mornings um, but man is it baking me right now I bet you I've got sweat coming off of me I can feel it coming but the Sun has there's a big patch of blue sky up there so the Sun has been out oh okay here it is stop 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 
a guy that we just passed back there warned us that there was a big snapping turtle over here, and there it is. Come here. I want you closer to me. I'm trying to carry a poop bag and wrangle Lefty with one hand while I'm holding the phone. Come on. There it is right there. Oh, he's a big boy. Look at that thing. Wow. I hope y'all can see it. I don't want to get too close and bother it. No. No. Come on. That is a big guy. No, Lefty. Come on. That guy will take your nose off with his chompers. Believe it. Believe it. Well, I haven't seen a snapper in a long time. Painted turtles are pretty common around here. Hey, come on. Let's go. Come on. Leave it. Come on. Come on. Oh, just instinct. He wants to play. I don't think he'll play with you, Lefty. It would be a short play session, believe me. Come on. Come on. Take the brakes off. Let's go. Come on. When he digs those back legs in like that, man, that's hard to overcome. He's so strong in his hind end. Come on, buddy. Come on. So that was pretty cool. Snapper, because the creek is right here, so I guess he lives in the creek. Just out for a morning stroll. That was pretty cool. So thank you all again that... <laughs> that put your tips and your knowledge in the comments from that video yesterday. I really appreciate that. I always seem to know just enough to get by, you know. I just got a package that I want to show you. This is from Shannon, I think. I'm having a hard time with the handwriting. <laughs> it's a t-shirt she said she saw and thought of me, so she, she got it for me. That's what I do. Fix stuff and know things. <laughs> she said that reminded her of me. That's what I do. I fix stuff and I know things. And that, I guess that does sound like me, right? I don't know everything and I fix some stuff. So thank you for this. Very funny. <laughs> and it, yes, it looks like it'll be a perfect fit. <laughs> thank you. Left. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come on. God, it's so hard to wrangle him with one hand. Look, I'm just like stressed to the max. Hey. Come on up here. Oh, that's the good grass down there. All right. Uh, you're not going in there. You already went in the water. Chomping. Uh -huh. Chomping. Let's go this way. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on. What? What you doing? Come on, let's walk. Come on, let's walk. Come on, bud. What? No, we're not going to go play with the turtle. We are not going back up that direction. No. Yeah, the, this gentleman over here who has a couple dogs, he, he shouted down to me and said that there was a snapping turtle down here to be careful. And we sure did find him. Hey, up, up. Come on this way. Come on. Go across the little bridge. There you go. What? So curious. Come on. 
Come on, Pop. Come on. This way. like rain so we've got this but this is what's coming and that sure looks like a rain front so we've got chances of rain for several days and we could use more we did get a good that good burst yesterday but but I'm thinking we've got more coming like ambulance. Come on up this way. That's a boy. That's a boy. Come on, pup. So thanks for coming along on our little walk this morning. And many thanks again for all the comments and the tips and the knowledge that you shared in yesterday's video. Computer knowledge. Thank you all for that. Lefty is just slobbering all over me right now. <laughs> what? The wind has picked up and I'm pretty sure it's about to rain decently hard from the way the sky looks. So we, we jumped in the car and we're going to go home and get some breakfast. How's that sound? Everybody take care, be safe. We'll see y'all again really soon. Huh. You have a very long tongue. <laughs> you have a very long tongue.